Hello everyone, and today I'd like to talk about a very interesting idea. It's called kin altruism and reciprocity. Actually, many species are social species, and they perform something called kin altruism to protect their individuals. And this makes sense based on the um, Darwinian concept, because Darwin said that people um, protect others that are similar to them genetically so that their genes can be passed on. And bees, for example, termites undergo this. In fact, they actually do something called division of labor, where they work on a common task and act unselfishly. Humans, however, can do reciprocity and cooperation as well, but even with people they have no blood in common with, um, and they live, for example, in these cooperative groups, whereby they choose to repay back strangers, um, who give them a gift, for example, so you want to return back the favor, or even give like people name, like to, to your godfather, or other people with whom they have no genetic or blood in common. And this violates the Darwinian survival of the fittest, but because there's no genes to be passed on, or at least there's no common genes, but we engage in, as um, Jonathan Haidt put in his book, tit for tat mentality, this for that mentality which is amplified with revenge and gratitude. So we're grateful when people do good things f for us, but when people hurt us or do bad things for us, um, vengeance comes in. And humans are ultra-social, and we actually supplement cooperation with something called gossip, where they can... Um, um, so, for example, which is usually critical about moral violations because people want to maintain their reputation and so they start to go, go gossip about other people doing things that are not morally correct, that, that are not morally right. And you can think of it as a policeman telling you about the rules on how to behave properly. And so you don't want to break the rules. So these are like the societal um, rules, right? Your social and moral rules. So we want to do well to others who do good to us but we also gossip about others who don't meet the, the norms or act appropriately morally or socially. And we do that to sustain our reputations of acting morally appropriately. And, and so the key ingredient to any good relationship is reciprocity, where you don't do bad to others and don't do others and don't do to others what you don't wish to be done to yourself. And so this is a very important concept that I think everybody should engage in we should treat others the way we want to be treated.